Shifting focus to Sudan, the country is resuming its diplomatic ties with Iran after years of halts. Now both nations exchanged ambassadors after eight years on Sunday. Sudan's army chief, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, received her son Shah Hosseini, the new Iranian ambassador in Port Sudan. While he sent Abdelaziz Hassan Saleh as the African country's ambassador to Tehran. Sudan broke off relations with Iran in 2016 in a show of solidarity with Saudi Arabia. This after the Saudi embassy in Tehran was attacked following the kingdom's execution of a prominent Shia cleric. Several Saudi allies in the region had cut ties with Iran at the time. However, in March of 2023, Riyadh and Tehran announced the surprising restoration of their relations following an agreement brokered by China. Iran has since moved to restore relations with neighboring Arab countries. While Sudan has also looked for allies amidst its ongoing fight against paramilitary rapid security forces. Since Sudan's war between the Sudanese army and the RSF began in April of 2023, Several foreign powers have supported the warring sides, including Iran. Reports have indicated Iran has provided drones to the Sudanese army. The army has also attempted to forge closer ties with Russia and is also backed by Egypt and Turkey. While countries like the UAE have been accused of backing the RSF, In December, Sudan expelled diplomats from the UAE on allegations that the Gulf state was funneling weapons to the RSF. However, interestingly, Sudan's reset of ties with Iran comes just days after its outreach to the UAE. The UAE president and Sudan army chief exchanged a phone call last week where the UAE leader expressed his country's support for Sudan and finding a solution to end the ongoing conflict. The brutal civil war in Sudan has been raging for over a year. The war has killed tens of thousands of people, with some estimates placing the death toll as high as 150,000. It has also created the world's worst displacement crisis, with at least 11 million people uprooted. While there are reports of sexual abuse and atrocities against women, the country is also on the brink of famine. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree. A News 18 Network initiative. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We are counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished.